Yeah. So how you doing, brother? Oh, yeah. I've been on Tilly. I've been on the staff at Northeastern, Joe Santilli. Oh um, yeah. And and he's a great staff. There were two of the greatest salesmen recruiters in the world. One was the head coach, absolutely tyrannical. Uh, Napoleon type. Love so it. that awesome heart and soul guy whose dad was a D1 hockey player. He was too. Love it. And the guy's like this tall and he was <laughs> made it like an absolute Marines until he worked for him for two years. And the guy loved him. He had a lot of success. And he could sell anything to anyone. So you'll, you'll get a huge kick out of Tilly. Love it. Right, Love so it. Right Sounds here. good, man. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can you all hear me? <coughs> Some of you hear me? Some of you see me? Well, good morning, guys. I know we got several people on the call and more coming on. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll share my screen here in a second. But uh, I always just like to kind of get an idea who's on the call. We've got lots of interest in what we're doing. I'll share real quick. I'm Doug Levi, owner of Strategic Insurance. You'll certainly hear more about what we're doing and our model and business in, in a bit, but I want to just kind of hear, go around real quick, just kind of tell me where you're from and what you're, where you're at in life and what you're, you're looking for, so, uh, or what interested you in this call at least. So let's start with, I guess, ladies first. I see some women on the call. Jessica, where are you from? Yeah. And Hi. tell me what, uh, where you're at and what interested you in this. Okay, um, I am from uh, Tampa, Florida. Cool. So I'm currently, in Tam well, St. Petersburg at the moment. Okay. But, um, yes. So prior to this, I was in um, HH Insurance. I was the lead customer service representative for. Okay. Yes. And um, what's interesting me in this is I would love to be able to work remote while also doing uh, the position um, which I was working with prior. Great. Sounds good. All right. And then how about, I see there's Lori Sorelli. Lori, tell us about where you're from and kind of where you're at in life and what interested you in the, in joining us for the call today. I'm in Newport, Ritchie, um, yeah. with AAA for 15 years and really interested in working remotely. Mm -hmm. Self-motivated. I don't need to be micromanaged. And basically the reason why I left AAA was the, uh, it was just became so corporate mm. and, it's in, uh, started with one quota selling insurance and ended my position. I've had a quota for life insurance, credit cards, membership, and oh, wow. referrals. So yeah. I started my career at State Farm, so I know that. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll also just highlight here, those of you that can see my, my background in terms of not being corporate, this is a little my wall of fame of my three kids under six and their artwork. Okay, right there. So, so this is, we're definitely, this is uh, kind of wear your heart on your sleeve, not corporate. So we're doing some cool things. All right. How about Bill Schuster? Where, Bill, where are you from? And, and tell us what, what's interesting in the, in being on the call today. Yes. Good morning. Um, hope good morning. You can hear me. Um, I just moved to Largo, Florida from uh, Western New York near Rochester. Oh, cool. Um, I've been in the insurance business probably about 35 years. Uh, I own wow. my own agency. It was, it was a property and casualty agency. 
Um, and then I had uh, some health issues that I had to uh, mm -hmm. sell the agency and uh, made me move to Florida. So I'm interested in getting back into the, into the insurance business. I have my New York State license, just working on getting my Florida licenses. Um, and also a remote. I'd like to work from home now. That's great. And I'll do it, well, I'll remote. Remote. That's cool. God bless you for owning an agency. I don't want to own one anymore. <laughs> Some days, and, I, and I'm not just saying this, but I look at what we're kind of putting together with this model. I'm like, wow, this is, I, yeah, I wish this was around when I started. So, but no, that's cool. And I, I love what I do, but I, I appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks, Bill. Katie, how about you? Where, where are you from? And tell us what, um, what interests you in the call. I'm a native of Chicago, Illinois. All right. Go Bears, huh? Yes, definitely. I'm a Bears fan. Um, I actually moved to West Virginia in 2006, so I've been here for quite a few years now, and I've been doing insurance since November of 08. Um, mm -hmm. I'm licensed in property and casualty and personal lines. I mainly do personal lines at my office and here in South Charleston. Um, I don't have any kids. I'm not married or anything like that. I've never owned my own agency. Just always work for, um, you know, a, a, the agency I work for now is one of the biggest in West Virginia. Oh, okay. As far as being That's great. In an so a lot, a lot of good experience I'm hearing so far. How about Tilly? I hear there's Tilly on the call and you know, Marco Sullivan, is that right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Can you hear me? I won't, I won't hold that against you. I promise. Tilly, I hey, can you hear me? I, I can hear you, and like I said, I will not hold that against you. So. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, listen, that's the biggest thing. The, that's the biggest thing. You got to know when you meet me, not to do that. You know. <laughs> I, so I tell actually me where currently you're from, work for. And kind of what, where you're at in, in life, and what yeah. interest you in this. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually in. in um, I'm up in Boston, but um, I work for Oracle Tech Sales, and uh, Mark has just always been a really good family, close friend, and so I just kind of. Um, I just wanted to hear what you guys had to say today, so I probably won't be doing much talking, but a lot of listening, if that's good. Good. Sounds great. We're glad to have you. And then I love we've got Optimus Prime Undercover. And again, just to have a little fun here, I've got a bunch of kids. This is what sits on my desk, by the way. So this is the original 1984 Optimus Prime. So those of you that are fans of anything fun like that. So anyway, so Optimus Prime Undercover, can you reveal yourself with your name and where you're from? And what interested you in this? Can you hear me? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Her name is Sierra. Sierra, okay. Well, Optimus is really undercover. So I want to get going. I want to be respectful <laughs> of everyone's time here. Uh, I'm going to share my screen in a second, guys. And as we get ready to get started, um, we'll definitely leave time for, you know, questions at the end. This, I, I do try to make this you know, conversational. I mean, I've got uh, uh, Sierra's audio is not working. They just said, okay. So uh, I try to make it conversational. Uh, you, you know, again, we're, we're excited about what we're doing. We're having a lot of fun doing it. And uh, we're, we're seeing just a tremendous interest and in, from really the, the, the whole marketplace. And that was kind of before COVID. And this is, if anything, just started, you know, even more. So um, here, here's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to share my, I've got my screen up here right now. So hopefully everybody can see it. I am recording the call for what it's worth. Uh, I know several of you, you probably saw an ad somewhere. Uh, thank you to Brianna. Brianna is our, our onboarding leader who I know has been in touch with a lot of you as well. We'll make sure you get a copy of this at the end. Uh, so you can kind of go back, listen to it if you want. If there's other things you wanted to go over, you can always forward it on. So so again, my name is Doug. Uh, I'm owner of Strategic Insurance Services. I always just love to share a picture of my family. I married way up. I, as they say, I outkicked my coverage. So my beautiful wife, Amy, we've been married going on nine years. I've got three kids under six. So I've got Abigail, Asher, and Avery. Uh, and I always just like to share that because, uh, A, I love my family. I'm a family man. It's truly kind of a family-run business in a way, but, but growing very rapidly. And I've got a lot of motivation to work hard for a very long time and to help our clients and help new team members potentially like yourself come on board and, uh, and hopefully be successful, whatever that looks like. And again, this is an opportunity where you can do this part-time, you can do this full-time and really try to provide a lot of benefit and flexibility. So I always just like to kind of start out with what I believe people want from their work life. And I'm going to just run through this real quick. I want you to kind of, you know, uh, 
put a pin here, if you will, and, and think about this through the call uh, or through the meeting now. So, so I believe that people want five things from their work life and, and see if you agree with me on these things. So number one, I believe they want time freedom and, and really to be the boss of your own time. And anyone that's ever been in an environment where you're kind of punching a clock, and micromanaged, nobody likes that. So, so you got a lot of time freedom with this opportunity. Number two, the opportunity to build financial independence for yourselves and your families. Okay. And, and, and I love, I, I had a mentor one time tell me, and I, I grew up, you know, very humble background. I started this business scratch. I went into debt to do it. I put my first desk together. You know, I, I walked uphill both ways, if you will. So I, 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 I love though a mentor of mine, a, a good friend of mine named Mark Kim. He said about the insurance business, you can go from the, pen, the poor house to the penthouse. And it truly is a business where you've got a great opportunity to earn a fantastic living if you want to do it full time. And if you're not interested in doing it full time, and this is something you're kind of considering just to do on the side, it's a great opportunity to earn really good part time income. Number three, work in a business that really makes an impact in the lives of others. And, and I want, again, just want you to think as we kind of go through the call, you know, insurance really touches almost every area of our life. And, and I'm not going to kind of go through it right now, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure just on a call, we've got, let's say eight or nine of us so far right here. You know, you probably all or several of you been in a car accident or maybe know someone that's been seriously hurt in a car accident or, you know, had a homeowner's insurance claim or some sort of claim in your life. And so, you know, being a part of a team that's helping people every day with that. Uh, and you really have the ability to plug into that team you're making an impact in the lives of other people. And I talk about that on the back end when people have a claim, but really on the front end, a lot of times we help people save money. And, and um, you know, I, I just feel super blessed. I got off an early call this morning. I mean, you think about it, you've got something like 30 million Americans that have totally lost their jobs in the last few months due to COVID. And, you know, we're an essential industry and growing and thriving and, and able to help people. And especially if we can help them save money, dollars are always precious. That, that's a great impact right there. Number four, being part of a winning team. We're top 1% agency in the country. There's over 40,000 independent insurance agencies in the United States. Uh, we fall in the top 1% of that. And we feel really blessed as a result of that. So you already are plugging into a winning team. And I believe our best days are yet to come. And then number five, and this is probably the biggest one that draws a lot of people to the industry at some level, is the ability to build passive income. And so really with our model, uh, you have the ability to build a renewal book of business. And we also are having the opportunity, people that are very entrepreneurial, if down the road they want to buy that book out and start a branch agency, they can do that. Uh, we'll talk about that at the end. But at the very minimum, you've got an opportunity to earn renewals. Uh, and, and it sounds like there's a few of you that are, have been more in the customer service side of things on insurance, probably haven't had that opportunity to earn renewals. So that's that's really a great thing. So those are the five things I believe that, uh, that people really want from their work life. And why I mentioned that at the beginning is our opportunity allows and provides for all of those. So the, uh, the next slide I'd like to go over here, we have any Napoleon Hill fans on the call? Anybody ever heard of Think and Grow Rich? Yes, no, maybe so? No, no, no sir. Okay. I love introducing Napoleon. I'm like his, his best salesperson. So, so Napoleon <laughs> Hill wrote, <clears throat> he wrote a very famous book called Think and Grow Rich in 1937. And uh, at that time, he, he wrote a book to really kind of answer what makes people healthy, wealthy, and prosperous, hence think and grow rich. And at the time, you had people like Henry Ford, J.P. Morgan, John Rockefeller, Thomas Edison, they were all still alive at the turn of the century. And he interviewed all of them. I'll give you a summary at the end of the book. Uh, but he's just really a great thought leader. If you Google him or you look him up on Amazon, I think it's got, you know, 17,000 five-star reviews. Arguably one of the best books of all time and still to this day from sales, marketing, and leadership perspective. He also has <clears throat> his thoughts of the day. And we encourage a lot of our team to subscribe to it. You, you don't come on my team at all. That's fine. You can still subscribe. You can go look up Napoleon Hill Foundation, and he sends out a little email thought uh, every day, or the foundation does. And I came across this, and I just loved the thought. And again, just planting this seed in the beginning, and that those who will not take a chance seldom have one thrust upon them, right? And so he kind of goes on. He says, success always involves risk. You must take a chance by investing your time, money, and effort. It pays to be thoughtful and deliberate, but don't let timidity hold you back. 
And, and <clears throat> some of you have never done full-time sales or part-time sales or anything that involves commission at all. Some of you have, it sounds like, and some of you have owned agencies and, and run that, and that's great. But just really encouraging you to kind of think through, you know, the opportunity that lies before us so often involves stepping out and taking that chance. And then the other thing, and I kind of put this at the top, is just, is your current job or career taking you where you want to go in life? And if not, what are you going to make a change to create the life that you want, frankly, that lines up with those five things that most people want out of their work life? Uh, and again, this is an opportunity where you don't have to do it full time. You've got lots of people that are doing it part time, which kind of creates an opportunity to kind of get into it without, you know, totally burning the, burning the bridges, if you will, burning the ships. <clears throat> the next slide here, I really just do for kind of a credibility, if you will, depending on how much you've researched or seen about us or me. Uh, we were very blessed. We, we were featured in Yahoo Finance, Morningstar, Latin Business Today, Market Watch. Uh, they all picked up a press release about what we're doing, kind of calling what we're doing game changing. Uh, that got picked up in January. Uh, we had a nice article in the Business Observer about us. And really, there's no one else that we know of in the country doing a model like we're doing, helping people get into the insurance, specifically the, the home and auto and if you're licensed for it, business insurance business where you can do it part time, you can do it remote and you have the support center in place to do that. No one's doing that. So that's kind of where we're picked up some of uh, some of that press. So, again, I know you guys don't know me. I don't know you. <clears throat> I would just like to kind of put this in here a little bit of uh, you know, credibility. The, uh, the next slide here, again, just kind of talking a little bit more about really what we're about. My heart here. You know, we want you to be able to build your business with on our business, have fun while you're doing it. Uh, and again, having that support, right? I, I know, uh, you know, I love, and I, I had another friend of mine share with me, you know, in a model like ours, you can be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. You know, being in business for yourself is hard. There's no doubt about it. And we're really big on kind of creating that culture, that community, that tribe, if you will, where we can help other people become successful and plugging into that. And with that being said, I, I really am calling this the 3M focus, and this is really what we're about. We're about making an impact. We want you to be able to make an impact for your families, your finances, and the clients that you'll help, right? We want you to be able to make money, great opportunity to make money, and then I want you to be able to make fun. And, and I like and even putting it like that, that make fun, because you know it's tough times right now in terms of just the world and where everything's at and, and on and on and on. And so we have a lot of fun here. We've got a lot of opportunity to help a lot of people. And so I want to be that leader that really gives you that hope uh, to kind of get started and give this a try. So any questions on anything so far that, that we've gone over? Nothing, nothing shocking here so far. No big questions. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> kind of getting into a little bit more on, on the opportunity. And again, several of you, it sounds like you're already in the insurance business at some level. And maybe other than I think we've got Tilly on the call who's in tech sales. A lot of you are, are already familiar with the insurance business at some level. That's great. Those of you that aren't or that may listen to this call on demand or it gets forwarded out to someone, you know, just really thinking through, you enter into an industry here where we have what everyone needs and budgets for. And, you know, I'd encourage you guys that have probably been in the business a long time. I've been in the business 17 years. I just turned 40. <clears throat> I just turned 40 in uh, last November, depending on what you think of 40. I, I always like to share this real quick. My daughter, who's six, when I turned 40, she says, Dad, are you old now? And I said, I'm still young enough to chase you down and tickle you. So, you know, I, I, I uh, depending on what you think, Ford. but anyway, I've been in the business a long time. I've owned the agency 14 years. And I think at times, guys, those of us that have been in the insurance business at some level, especially the property and casualty side, and we say property and casualty, we're talking things like homeowners, auto, and then business insurance, really take things for granted. You just, you know, it kind of becomes routine, mundane or whatever. And, and I've been trying to look at things with fresh eyes. I've been really excited about this opportunity, which we've started about let's call it six, eight months ago, we brought on about 41 people so far that are somewhere along the journey. Here's where I'm going with it is that, you know, we offer what everyone needs and already budgets for it. That's huge. That is so, so big. There's lots of people trying to sell lots of things that people don't need. They may want, but they don't need, right? And especially I think, uh, you know, just given the state of the world right now, the economy, you know, a lot of stuff in transition. You know, I'm a very optimistic, glass half full guy. I, I believe in our, our nation and in capitalism. I believe we'll bounce back and bounce back quickly. But there's no doubt a lot of people are hurting right now. So, so dollars are precious. So you're going to see more people stripping away things that they may want 
but don't need. Well, well, insurance is still so much of a need-based business that it's unlikely there's going to be a big change there, right? Now, what I'll say is it may open the door that people will be more likely to shop their insurance. Maybe people that have been with State Farm for 30 years or 20 years or whatever, just their insurance just renews year after year with whoever their carrier is. They may look at those, uh, those numbers more closely and actually open up opportunity for you. So again, just really taking into consideration, you know, truly in this needs-based environment <clears throat> and then being very mission-minded. Again, kind of talk about those five things we believe that I believe that people want from their work life is, you know, making an impact and, and, and being with an agency or a company that cares about making an impact. And so I trademarked this mission five years ago. And so our mission here, you know, again, what, what, what is the agency about? I kind of shared what our heart for the team is, you know, making money, making an impact and making fun. But what our goal is for our clients and our mission for our clients is to help families and businesses prepare, protect and recover from life's unexpected events. And so, and so they move forward with confidence and everything we do here, guys, my heart and focus is on how we serve our clients and how we serve our community. So again, you can hopefully feel good about plugging into something like that. The other thing I really highlight here is that uh, this is still a relationship business. And, and all the research shows that. And while a lot of research starts online, uh, at the end of the day, if you know someone, know, like, and trust, you've got a great opportunity to help them. And a lot of the marketing we talk about, this is not just sell to your families and friends. We go through a whole marketing plan with you. We really show you how to do what we call center of influence marketing, how to build a referral-based book. But here's where I'm going with it. <clears throat> when you can be someone in a relationship business and uh, you can do very well without having to spend a lot of money. Um, and especially on things like the homeowner side of the house, maybe the auto a little bit more of a commodity and a little bit more online, but especially on the homeowners and business insurance and some of those other needs, still very much of a relationship type business. So that's very, very good just in terms of your opportunity. On this side here, I wrote a book called Surviving the Insurance Jungle a few years ago. Um, and I share this again for a few reasons. One of the reasons I share, and we'll kind of segue in, and we'll kind of get into some numbers here in a few slides, guys, in terms of unpacking the commissions, our structure, and all of that. But basically, when I did this research and I wrote this book, I really wrote it from, and I said, okay, if my wife, who's a stay-at-home mom and super smart, I mean, Amy's got a master's degree in psychology, but, you know, she, she loves, loves God, loves our family, she's decided to stay at home, that's been the best decision for our family. So she doesn't make the insurance decisions in our household because, okay, her husband owns an insurance agency. But if she did, if she had to make those decisions, what would be a good resource for her? That's really where I wrote the book. And it's, it's a short book. You can get it on Amazon. Check it out if you want. Um, and it's a chapter per subject. So home, auto, business, on and on and on. And I really wrote it to try and, try and help in that sense. But as I was doing the research, it really struck me. And I highlight it right here. The average American spends almost 11% of their budget on insurance. Okay. And I always kind of knew we were a big industry. You know, we're the second largest industry in the world. Last year uh, in the United States, uh, there, there was about 600 billion with a B dollars worth of insurance spent just on homeowners, auto and business insurance. That's not even life and health. But think about that. So Again, where I'm going with that is, is the need and opportunity is tremendous. Almost everything you look around you at some level is likely insured or needs to be. So you've got a huge opportunity uh, to help people, right? So think about that. Um, on this slide here, and again, this is for Florida. I know we've got you know, other people from some other states. The concepts are going to be the same, guys. Uh, so, so just walk with me with this now. Here in Florida, we're one of the most expensive states for insurance, okay? So, so Florida, Texas, and California, typically kind of the top three states for insurance with regards to the cost. In Florida specifically, and I think these numbers probably, if anything, are even a little higher now. I got to update my data here. But in Florida, the average Floridian spends about $5,600 a year to insure their home and two cars, right? And I just pull that info right from this is carinsurance.com. And this is trustedchoice.com. So, so I want you to think about that for a second. The average Floridian spends about $5,600 a year to insure a home and two cars, right? So, and now I kind of unpack a little bit more in terms of the commissions and how our structure works. So we, we pay 50% new business and 25% renewal, okay, on our commissions. You can earn, and we're going to talk again in a few more slides, dive a little deeper in it. 
you can actually earn up to 70% on new business based on production. So we have sort of a tiered production, right? The more you produce, the more you make. But at, at day one, you have opportunity to make 50%. So this is just at 50% commission and assuming these averages. This is not in saying I'm insuring all multi-million dollar homes and Lamborghinis or McLarens, okay? If you do 10 families a month in your first year, helping them with their home, two cars, you'll make about 41,000, okay? Now, depending on what you think of 41,000, I'm not saying you're retiring on that. I'm just trying to give people some understanding of how the commissions work, what it looks like. Obviously, you could do more than that, okay? If you do 20 families a month, you're at 80,000. I mean, you can kind of play on and on and on. And if this is something you're looking at part-time, you say, okay, well, what if I did five families a month? What if I did two families a month? I'm just trying to give people a little bit of an understanding of sort of what do the commissions look like? How much can you make? And what do I have to do to sort of earn that? And then what I highlight kind of in that second point is in year two, your commissions start off at about 18,000, right? So one of the things we said in the beginning, those five things that people want is kind of a theme that we work through on the, on the call here is that ability to build passive income. So, so what does that look like? Well, we'll think about this. Every time you get a client, and let's say you write a client with Progressive, and again, several of you already, I know in the business probably get this, but some may not, and some don't really know how the insurance business works. So I write a client with Progressive, and I, I get paid a commission, and now let's say six months from now, that client renews again with Progressive. Well, we get paid a commission again, and you get paid a commission again, okay? That's kind of the magic of the insurance business, right? So in year two, your commissions, if you did that 10 families a month, which started about 18,000, okay? Now, if you dumped in another 10 families a month of new business, now you're at about 60,000. Again, it could certainly be more than that. So I really wanna highlight that based, you know, sky's the limit based on your production. I mean, maybe you've got your commercial license, you do some commercial insurance, do life and health. There's all sorts of other things. This is sort of just a very bare minimum of just doing very basic, you know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, bread and butter, if you will, home and auto, okay? If we take this concept out and we go over five years, in the year five, you're at about 100,000 and about $62,000 of that is renewal. And again, when we say renewal, this is passive income that's renewing, that you've got a service team here in place that's doing the majority of the work. You're not really doing a lot of that work. You have a client that needs something. You're not having to handle you know, ID cards, claims, billing questions, rewrites, on and on and on. You have our service team to do that, okay? Um, so that's just kind of a big picture on, and I call it the power of compounding commissions. And that's really the magic of our business. I always tell people this, so listen, you know, this is not a get quick rich business. This is a build wealth over time business. Um, there are other industries and businesses you may make more commission up front, but I've yet to see something as proven where you can truly build this kind of wealth consistently over time with this renewal type of a model, okay? Um, and then, you know, talking a little bit more into it, I, I really, I'm branding it and calling it our advisor plus model. I mean, we try to be very different in all that we do and what we talk about. We don't call our, our insurance agents agents. We call them insurance advisors. We want you to think like an advisor. We want you to be considered a trusted advisor by your clients. And we spend a lot of time in training with our team on that. And we'll talk about training in a minute. But I just, I kind of came up with this and I like the thought of this advisor plus model. And again, if we look, you know, I've heard it said before, I'm big on just motivational quotes and thoughts and sort of all these different things that hopefully stick with people and sticks with me at least. And what's everyone's favorite radio station? It's WIIFM. That's what's in it for me, right? And, and, and again, when we created this, this is really what I've been thinking about. I'm trying to think about you and where you're at in your journey. You're looking for something to hopefully make more money, whether it's part-time, maybe you're stuck in a career you don't like, you're not happy. You see this as an opportunity out for something full-time. So this advisor plus model is sort of the branding of some of what we're doing with it. So one of the things that you plug into right away is carrier access. So when we say that we are one of the top agencies in the country, uh, you know, we, we, we've got access to over 80 insurance carriers. Uh, you know, we currently have actively over 5,000 clients growing rapidly. So you've got a large breadth of access to carriers and that's for all lines of insurance. That's home, auto, business, life, and health. Now, a lot of what we talk about here on the call and introducing people that maybe aren't licensed or familiar is showing you how to get licensed for home and auto insurance. 
and all personal lines really. I mean, there's a lot more than just home and auto. I mean, it could be boat, jet ski, rental property, vacant land, but, but it's, it's distinguishing it's not business, it's not life, it's not health, right? It's individuals and families. We also do a lot of commercial and business insurance. That's a great opportunity. We do life and health insurance. We've got access to all the major carriers there. So depending on your licensing or your interest or where you see what you would want to do, you've got access right away to quite a bit. You've got a dedicated service team to assist you with your service work. And again, I know there are several on the call that are in the business right now or spend time, excuse me, so you can appreciate this a little bit more. New people or people who haven't been in the insurance business, I don't think really appreciate it enough, but I always just encourage people, think of your own life. Think of any time you've moved, you have to change your car insurance. You buy a home, you need homeowners. You have a claim, you've got to file a claim. You get a bill in the mail that you don't understand. You're calling either the carrier or someone asking about that, right? Your rate goes up and you need to talk about that. So all of that we call service work and there's lots of it. And it can be very time consuming. And I'll tell you this, when I started the agency, you know, started scratch, it was myself and, a, and an old business partner at the time. I bought that partner out, just the two of us. So you're not only having to sell and help bring on new clients, but then you're having to take care of those clients that are calling in and saying, hey, what about this? So with this model, we really free you up to truly just be able to produce. Your goal is to go, you know, prospect, build your pipeline. I share your pipeline is your lifeline and help bring on new clients, and then know you've got a dedicated team to help with the rest. Now, again, also hear me here, guys. We don't take the relationship between you and that client away. You wanna to talk to that client, great. You wanna help them with any of the service, great. I'm gonna encourage you to leverage the team, and that's where part of our commission splits come, because I'm dealing with that overhead, I'm managing that, not you, right? So really thinking about that, all of that service is taken care of, We've got ongoing training that helps you with both marketing, sales, and insurance knowledge. So, uh, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about that in, in a little bit, but we've got ongoing training. We do uh, weekly Zoom calls. So every Monday at 1030, I do a Zoom call. We've been doing this for quite some time. We go through some insurance training, some specific insurance training, you know, how to do home, how to do auto, how to do different things, flood insurance. We do role playing in those calls. Uh, and then I also try in every call, give you a motivation moment, something hopefully to get your week going, put that positive mindset in front of you. And then also we do some specific sales and marketing training. So we do that every week. Um, so we try and give you good training and support. We've also got a full, full time uh, personal lines trainer, a lot of support right here at the agency. On top of that, all of these carriers we work with, you can always typically call them and get, get support and answers to questions. We do a weekly commission advance for the first 90 days. So this is really big. Again, I don't know anyone in the country that's doing what we're doing, period. Some people think I'm a little crazy. Some people think I'm giving the house away, if you will. I believe in building people and I believe that rising tides will raise all ships. And I know if I help treat people well and help give you a really good opportunity in a great proven business, I will be taken care of too and so will my family. So where I'm going with this is this weekly commission advance you may see this in the life and health. I don't know anyone that's ever done this in property and casualty. And basically what we're doing is this, we're saying, look, if you write an auto policy, <clears throat> uh, let's say you write an auto policy today uh, with Progressive. Again, probably a name that everyone on this call knows is Progressive Insurance, who we have. Well, we don't get paid as an agency for, for typically 30 days and everything flows through the agency. That's kind of the model you're plugging into. What I do is I basically float that advance to you and I say, look, we have, a, you know, we have a good idea what the commission's gonna be. We'll pay you on that each week, each Friday. And we do that for the first 90 days, okay? So we're really doing that as a way to kind of launch people, get you going. Hopefully after that, you've got enough of a pipeline. You've kind of learned, A, is this for me? Do you like it? Are you doing anything? Are you making any money? Or it's like, man, this is in my thing or I don't really like it or whatever. <clears throat> but it's a great opportunity to get people going and put dollars in your pocket every week. And what we do is whatever you wrote the previous week up to Wednesday at 12 o'clock, that's kind of our cutoff. We do an admission, admit, uh, a commission advance that Friday. Uh, so great opportunity there. And then we balance out your commission statement once a month as, as the actual commissions come in, okay? Um, we talked about that renewal book of commissions. Again, great opportunity that not only getting paid on the new, new business, but that, that renewal book of business. And then I'm really excited about this. I'm really big on having an opportunity for those that truly want an entrepreneurial opportunity to have that. Some people are like, you know what? I love it. Bill kind of said, 
I've owned an agency. I don't want any part. I don't, I don't do that anymore. And, and again, Bill, I, trust me, I've got my days where I think that myself. So I get that. But there are some out there that are kind of like, you know what? If I work hard and I do this, well, what, what's my long-term carrot? So here's what we're doing. And I, I, I'm still big kind of a marketing branding. I'm almost calling it a reverse franchise. And here's the concept. Here's what I want you to think about. And there are similar models to what we're doing, guys, but they're more franchise-based. And here's, here's the reality. And you can look like, for example, Brightway. It's pretty big in the Southeast, got a decent name to it. I've got some friends that are Brightway guys, good company. You don't want to say anything bad about it. You want to be a Brightway agent, <clears throat> it's a franchise. You know, you got to pony up 50, 70 grand just to start your agency. And yes, they'll give you carrier access and they're going to give you support, but you have no idea whether you're going to make it or not. And that's really true of any franchise, right? I, I want a McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, whatever. I put up a bunch of money. I get the brand, I get some support. Uh, and then it's, you know, here you go. Good luck with this model. Here's what I'm saying. Let me say, look, you know, you have an opportunity to come on and very little startup costs. I mean, our startup costs all in, depending on where you're, whether you're licensed or not, they're, they're somewhere between 250 to $400. Okay. And then, and we'll share this all at the end. And our only ongoing cost is $79 a month. And that's access basically to all the software, all our support center, all that. So pretty darn inexpensive to run this. You start doing well and start to build a book of business and say, hey, I want the idea that I can branch out on my own. Great. And then what we do is we'll have a preset price, typically about two and a half times revenue, uh, which is pretty industry standard right now, where you can buy that book that you've built. And guess what? You'll be able to pay for that with the book itself. Okay. Uh, and a lot of banks finance, there's some banks that really work closely with the insurance industry. And then you say, you know what, I want to branch out. At that point, you'd be able to be what we'd call an agency branch. You would be responsible for your own service at that point. So you can get all the commissions, um, but you want to do the service on your own or hire other people, et cetera. You can have your name on it and be strategic insurance, you know, the, the O'Sullivan agency, whatever it looks like, really providing that opportunity for entrepreneurism. Um, and then we'd still have some connection and some tie from some overrides back to us are still leveraging and using our brand, our website, some of our marketing, some of our mastermind concepts. So, so we built that in and I'm really excited about that for people that want that. So that's kind of our advisor plus model we're calling it. I just want to hit the pause button because I know I'm talking a good amount. Any questions on any of that so far, guys? No, sir. No? Okay. A little bit more about the team and us. Uh, we kind of already said we do the weekly Zoom calls. We also have a closed Facebook group. Again, kind of our online community. I am a big relationship kind of guy. This COVID-19 has been hard for me because uh, I'm very extroverted, like being around people. And I just share that to say, those of you that are local here in the area, we also try and do a lot of team stuff. You know, we've done go-karting, baseball games, beach parties, you know, on and on and on, all kinds of stuff. We're also building in some incentive travel trips that'll be coming so if we've got people from all over the country opportunities to come together, we'll probably be doing some, again, as things open up, some events and conferences and all of that. Uh, but then, you know, we also look, we've got this online community. So this closed Facebook group, create opportunity. We post all of our trainings on there. We post, uh, you know, marketing ideas, sales ideas. We celebrate successes as we share challenges. So that's really where society is today. Uh, so we try and balance both kind of that in-person and that online. We also have a YouTube training channel. Uh, so we shoot a lot of videos that are on demand. It's, you know, how do I do homeowners? How do I do auto? How do I market? How do I do a lot of things? You've got access to that. And then you also have a personal lines team trainer. So this is Leanne Dugan. Basically, you have access to myself, other people on our team, but Leanne is also our team trainer. Uh, she's 18 years experience, super smart. She knows all the ins and outs. So again, trying to give you a lot of support right there to help. In terms of our technology, everything we do, guys, is all meant to be done remote. Uh, about most of what we have is all web-based, browser-based. So you can get on the internet, you can get on our systems. We have comparative raters, and again, probably a handful of you are familiar with that. Those that aren't, where we basically, you put the info in once and it's gonna run a bunch of proposals for you so you're not having to input it 10 times in 10 different carriers. Uh, we've invested a lot in technology. We do DocuSign for everything. Clients can live chat with us. Clients can text us at the agency. So lots on the technology front to help them. <clears throat> Again, we already talked a little bit about being a best practices agency. We've got almost 200 five-star Google reviews. And here locally, we've been named one of the best places to work 
uh, in the last few years and also one of the top property and casualty agencies. And that just got reaffirmed actually two weeks ago. We were just named, uh, again, one of the top agencies here locally in the Tampa Bay Business Journal. So just a little bit more about us and the team, some of our structured training and some of the technology we have. So again, we kind of talk a little bit more and we'll, we'll wrap up here, guys, in a few minutes. Uh, we talked a little bit, again, in terms of the structure. We, we, we really call everyone, you know, a risk management advisor, <clears throat> kind of giving you that advisory mindset. If you're personal lines, great. If you're commercial, great. If you're life and health, great. You can do any or all of that in there. Our commission structure, we start at 50% new business. You can get as high as 70% based on production. Uh, so again, trying to incentivize people to continue to grow and do more. I want to reward those people that do. We do 25% renewals uh, on your book of business. And again, then we've got that dedicated service team to help bring on, not only to help you with new business, kind of onboarding those clients, but then also servicing once them, they are a client. And I, I had a guy, a new guy that came on in California recently uh, named Sergio, and he, he kind of looked at it and he said, you know, I almost like this, almost like a property manager. And again, depending on what you think of property managers or not, just that idea that you've got assistance and a team to help you with your business. <clears throat> the other thing that we have, and this is just built into the model, some people really like it, some are actively doing it, some aren't as keen on it, and that's fine. You have an opportunity to build your own team of advisors, okay? And so what we do with that, any team member you bring on, we pay you a 15% commission override on whatever they produce in their first year. Does not take out of your team member's production, by the way, they'll still get their 50% or a size 70 based on their production but you would get a 15% override in year one and then year two and following a 5% override. Now hear me guys, this is not a multi-level marketing, traditional A to B, B to C, C to D, on and on and on. But what it is, is just employing that idea of building a team. Uh, it's employing the idea, if you like the idea of leveraging your time, skills, and talent, just like I'm doing right now, I could be doing a lot of other things, but right now I'm talking to you all saying, hey, come join me because I know it's not only going to benefit you, but in the long run, it's going to benefit me. I'm just passing that idea on, that concept. So if you want to do that, great. Great opportunity there. I already talked a little bit about the opportunity to purchase your book of business, kind of have that long-term entrepreneurial opportunity if you want down the road. Okay. Um, I promised I would share with you guys at the end, Napoleon Hill summary. So think and grow rich again, highly recommend the book. You can get it online. You can actually listen to it too. It's on YouTube. You can listen to it on YouTube. Lots of ways to access it. Um, but even before I do that again, just, just different thoughts for you. I like this quote from Mark Twain, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. Again, just kind of love that in terms of stepping out. So Napoleon Hill, his summary of Think and Grow Rich, having a specific goal, number one, you got to have a specific goal. Number two, you got to have specific time to achieve that goal. It's got to be time sensitive. Number three, you got to write it down. Number four, you got to develop an action plan to achieve the goal. Number five, you got to decide the price you're willing to pay to obtain that goal. And number six, you got to think about that goal every day, right? And so I'm big on, uh, you know, your success is my success. We spend a, quite a bit of time in our onboarding meeting. If those of you want to take next steps, and I'll talk about that in a second, on this specifically, and we go through smart goal planning and we really highlight what we call the 3% club because less than 3% of all Americans have written defined goals. And we know that the top achievers in any industry have those. So that was kind of Napoleon Hill's uh, summary of thinking grow rich there. there. So next steps. So those of you that may be interested at any level, what do the next steps look like? Well, uh, depending on whether you're licensed or not is going to kind of vary. Obviously, um, we, we do for everyone a background check. 35 bucks through TransUnion, you get a copy of it. Uh, we just want to make sure everyone can pass a background check, that you're not going to have any issues down the road with carriers, things like that. We do have a 1099 advisor agreement. Brianna and Katie on my team, we've got a, a, a process we can send you that to review. And it pretty much outlines everything we've talked about. Outlines commissions, outlines, uh, you know, the compensation model, the terms, et cetera. You're, you know, you're a 1099, you're not W-2, you come and go, do as you please, all that. Uh, I do an onboarding and marketing action plan and I charge $79 for that. And here's why. <clears throat> it's like going to the gym with a personal trainer. I do these, I spend about an hour, an hour and a half on them try and pack a lot of info in there. Uh, we, again, we go through smart goal planning. We do a fast start action plan. And really guys, my whole goal is to help you understand how are you going to get business? 
this is not something where I'm going to give you a bunch of leads. You may get some leads, and frankly, I'm always cautious any times because uh, I know more people in the life and health, oh, you know, they're going to give me leads. Well, most of the leads that people get are crap. So really what we try and do is show you how to build what I would call a referral-based business model where you do a lot of center of influence marketing, all right? And what does that mean? So we do a lot with realtors, mortgage brokers, people that are tied to real estate because it goes so hand in glove with insurance, right? And we share a lot of ideas, some of it online, some of it digital, some of it offline. Um, so we charge $79 of that. It's really a function of my time, you having some skin in the game. Um, if you're not licensed uh, for uh, personal lines insurance or anything you'd wanna do through us, we have a special deal through Exam FX. Uh, it's all online. It's typically one it's typically like 210. Through us, it's 169. It's video based. They also just came out. I have an option. If you don't, if your dollars are really tight and you're not licensed right now, they have an option for 109. That's not video based if you just want to go through and read stuff uh, in terms of getting your licensing. And then you'd have to get fingerprinted and then ultimately take the state exam. Okay. This is what I think is really, really amazing right now. You know, I love where there's change, there's opportunity, and there's always, you know, a blessing and a challenge. So given all this COVID-19 stuff, uh, the exam centers have been closed. So there is about 20 states, Florida being one of them, that's doing a temporary insurance license. This is huge. Uh, we've had several new team members that have already gone through and done this. And so basically what this says is, look, if you're not licensed right now, even if you take your class and then you go and you want to be able to take the test, you can't go because the test centers are closed. So you go, you do your class online, which everybody gets through, and you get fingerprinted and you get a temporary license for six months. That's huge. Can't stress that enough. Great opportunity to kind of get in, give this thing a go. Um, now hear me, long term, those of you that want to be in the industry and business, you'll ultimately still have to go and take and pass that test. We also do a licensing reimbursement program for those of you that don't have the license. We basically say, look, you got to put that $250 up front. After you get licensed, you come on board with us, you write three policies, doesn't matter what they are, any kind, we, we will reimburse you that $250 cost. You follow up with us, say, hey, we came on board, $250, all that, and we reimburse that to you. The only ongoing fee that we have at any level, guys, right now is $79 a month. That's our agency support fee that gets you access to all our systems, all our technology, and our service team. So that's really, in terms of what next steps would look like, would be, background check, review and sign the agreement, do our onboarding and action plan meeting, and then obviously talk through where you're licensing, where you're at with licensing. So we can get you up and running fairly quickly. We've just had recently a great success. We had somebody just come on and literally within seven days went from seeing our opportunity, getting interested, signing up for the class, going through the whole class, getting fingerprinted, and seven days later had a temporary insurance license, which is crazy. I mean, that's very, very unusual. Um, so great opportunity right there. So all that being said, that's the, the kind of the overview. Questions you guys have, thoughts, uh, next steps, anything. Tell me what, what you all are thinking. I, so in order to get started, we basically would pay the 35 for the background check and 79 for the marketing action plan. And if I'm already That's licensed, it. I wouldn't need to worry about that, right? Nope, you wouldn't. You just have, we just want to verify. I'm just going to see a copy of the license, obviously. Most of that you can typically pull offline too from your state yeah. website. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. And then obviously, and review and sign the advisor agreement. Gotcha. Yep. And then after, now, how do they do the agency support fee? Is that like annually? Do they charge that once a year or at certain no, we, times we, of the year? It, it, yeah, we do it monthly and we actually do it right. Uh, we use Stripe and Stripe's like an online payment dealie. And we basically just set it right up to a credit card, a credit card okay. or debit card. So you basically pick a credit card or debit card and then it'll just hit that once a month. Um, and that's how we do that. So they do it monthly over the year. Yeah. Correct. Gotcha. Do it monthly over the year. Yeah. You know, that's how we do that. So other questions? Okay. Do the service people, I'm sorry, I have a question. Do the service yeah, people 
Spanish. The disservice people speak Spanish. Good question. We do have a few Spanish speakers on the team. Okay. We've got guys, uh, 17 full-time people, uh, and we've got a scalable model where we can con continue to grow because what I'm well aware of is that renewals and retention is huge. So we do quite a bit on that. Um, we didn't talk about this as well, but we also, I probably should add this into to the little advisor plus we do a ton of marketing. And when I say marketing, really probably better putting it as client retention with our existing clients. So like all of our clients, they get a series of welcomes from us. They get how to file a claim, how to give you a review, who to contact. They get a birthday call on their birthday. And it's not just all email. So we do about 18 to 20 touch points a year. It's a combination of email, text, and postcards. Uh, and again, where I'm going with that, the whole model that we're building is to try very hard to keep our retention very high. You work hard to get a new client. We want to make sure we're working hard to keep that as a happy client for years and years and years and years to come. So, any other questions, guys? If I'm not, sorry. here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll, have, I'll have Brianna send the, the follow-up from the meeting. I'll have her include in there the next steps, what it would look like. If anybody's interested in taking the next steps, it'll be very clear in there. Katie will send you the advisor agreement. You can review that. If you're interested, you can sign the advisor agreement, pay the background check and onboarding fee, and then our team will work with you on onboarding in those next steps get you into the Facebook group, get you into the weekly calls or the info and all that and go from there. Sound good? Sound good? All right. Yes, sir. Well, guys, I really appreciate your time today and coming on the call and showing some interest. And uh, I hope to see, I hope some of you come on board. I think it'd be a great opportunity for you and we're having a lot of fun here and helping a lot of people. So if, if we can do anything for you, let us know, okay? Great, thanks. Yes, sir. All right, Thank guys. you, guys. Have a great day. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you.